Hello, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy, TM, an ENT consultant at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur and Srinivas ENT uh, Center at Ashwantpur. Now, bleeding from the nose um, is a topic which we have addressed uh, in a, one of our previous uh, talks. Bleeding from the nose too can occur uh, because of uh, multiple reasons varying from trauma to infection to uncontrolled uh, blood pressure or what is called as hypertension, people who use uh, blood thinners, people who develop um, growths within the nose uh, such as polyps, uh, tumors, uh, cancer. So various uh, pathologies can cause um, bleeding from the nose. Now does the smoking have any relationship to bleeding in the nose is a question which has been raised by some uh, patient. Now, smoking as we know tends to affect multiple organs and areas of the body and multiple mechanisms in the body. Now we do know for sure that anybody who smokes tends to heal um, poorly as compared to somebody who doesn't smoke. Now people who have sinus infections uh, and who are smokers are known to heal um, uh, in a longer duration as compared to someone who doesn't smoke. Similarly, uh, smoking can predispose to development of tumors in the nasal cavity and in the area behind the nose what we call as the nasopharynx. Now, an occasional patient can have gro these growths happening uh, primarily because he, he or she has been a smoker. Now, is there a direct relationship? No, there is no direct relationship that every smoker will have bleeding in the nose. But um, smoking does uh, affect uh, a person's uh, blood pressure, uh, cardiac status and uh, it's a known carcinogen that is some, it's a cancer causing uh, agent. So all these things collectively can um, cause bleeding in an occasional patient. So we will be uh, all the more aggressive or we will be all the more cautious uh, when somebody does give us a history that uh, he or she is a smoker and then the, they have had bleeding in the nose. So we will try to rule out uh, most of these causes.